Hey everyone, welcome into the channel. It's Karen Lavender Clothesline. If you're new to my channel, I am a full-time online reseller. What that means is I find items to flip for a profit. That's basically what my channel is about, but I throw in all kinds of craziness too. Today is a gorgeous snowy day here in central Pennsylvania, just beautiful. I'll probably bring the camera outside for a little bit and show you what is going on outside, what the weather looks like. Uh, Roger and I are just about to head out for Valentine's Day dinner. I see my husband coming in the door. Hang on one second. Hey. Thank you. <laughs> I saw you coming up the walk because I'm filming an intro. Oh. <laughs> so my husband is just coming in the door with a bin of inventory. Where were you thrifting? Where were you thrifting without me? <laughs> Thirty. 30. You went to yeah. Goodwill 30? He went to Goodwill 30 without me. <laughs> I was home working on listing and taxes, all the fun things. All right, so what are we doing today? We are going to go shopping together, of course. Hey, honey, where is that place that you were saying had the dresses that were, um, the racks of dresses? Do you remember the name of that place? I don't. It's okay. In, it's in Burdenham, but I don't. Okay, it's in a town called Burdenham. So you can tell we're in Pennsylvania. <laughs> A week, maybe we'll go there this week? Yeah. All right. My honey says maybe we'll go there this week. We'll have to see. All right. Tonight, I am just about to get ready to go out to our Valentine's Day dinner. And the restaurant I have chosen is Miller's Smorgasbord. Going to a smorgasbord. I'll try to take a few pictures to show you what the food looks like, but I'm not going to film because it is our Valentine's Day dinner. All right. So that is what we're doing in this video. Hit the like and subscribe button. I'm bringing you with me. Okay, Roger's working, so we have to be very quiet. <laughs> Look at this inventory. Sometimes I get jealous. Look at all this good stuff the man can pick. That is for sure. I'm giving you a little overview. Look at the cat. How did you wind up with that cat? <laughs> I love that cat. Is he signed? He's just relaxing. Yeah, that's how I feel today. I had a really relaxing day. It was nice. I did get a lot of housework done and listings and some other stuff, but holy smoly, you have it going on in here. This is crazy good. All right, so is all of this unlisted or listed? Um, or do you even all know? That's listed. All this is listed. Everything on, everything, well, not everything. <laughs> the hummels I didn't get on yet. Oh, those are the Hummels that you got at the auction, right? And the dragons up top, I just got them. You're keeping them for yourself? No, I just didn't get, <laughs> I just didn't get them one. Hey, <laughs> you have so much stuff I don't even know about. Cat person, where'd you get this? Opal House, that is adorable. Hmm, you've been thrifting without me. Got a little dust on your shelves. <laughs> Oh, Valentine's Day card. Where'd you get that? <laughs> My lovely wife. <laughs> My lovely wife. You yeah. must be on film. That was nice. Oh, my goodness. This okay. is amazing. Got a bunch of leather briefcases. This is crazy good. You got some kind of kitchen food processor blender. Is that a blender? Mm. It's a something. Don't. I don't want to interrupt yeah, you. Won't. Don't keep that going. Works. A nice Lego set. This is on. You just got that today? No, I got that a little bit ago. Wow, brand, that's a big brand one. Brand new. Brand new. Still sealed. Do I dare ask what you paid for it? <laughs> Four ninety nine. No, you probably paid more for that. Yeah. Another Lego set. Yeah. Oh, you got some Lily Pulitzer here. Who taught you about Lily Pulitzer? Yeah, he told me about that. <laughs> you got a nice. Little long burger stand there. You want to show it to us? I'm interrupting you. I told you I'd cook pizzas for you for dinner. That's nice. Got a little, I don't know what. It's like a, like for wedges of cheese. I mean, what is These that? These are really, they're. Is this for like a bathroom duty. that you put this on, like, you know, the corner of your vanity and you keep like. Not Does really Longa sure. Burger even make stuff like that? Or is Longa Burger pretty much just kitchen or do they have they organization? They don't make anything anymore. Well, when they uh, did, uh, I mean. I yeah, sorry, I, didn't, I said it wrong. They're completely out of business. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. But this is a Longer Burger, too. Okay, so it was yeah. made like yeah. that. Yeah. 
Wow. But the stand was made by them. Look at all the toys in this room. I think you like toys the best. <laughs> Massive inventory. What are the bags over there? Are those are listings. They're all they're all listed. Okay, I'm going to climb over all of this. Okay, so you've been working on listing, and this is all clothing in here. Yeah, this is all clothing. I just listed this. The Melissa and Doug family. Royal Family Wooden Doll Set. Oh, that's cute. Somebody one sold for fifty-seven dollars, and somebody has one on for ninety-five. What? I never pick up Melissa and Doug, hardly ever. I think just, I got it because of the royal family. I just yeah, maybe the royal family. Look how cute that is. Oh, my gosh. Like that. King Charles is not looking too good. <laughs> <laughs> he has an ouchie. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go cook you pizza. And I am having a chicken curry with rice. And I can hear the air fryer beeping. All right, I'm gonna leave you alone. Nice job, honey. So we have a few packages in the door and this is what Pennsylvania is looking like. Look how gorgeous this is. It started snowing yesterday, probably later evening, maybe even early this morning. And we are set to get about six to eight inches. Don't even think about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this place might look a little different because they have added on, which sometimes means they've raised their prices. So hopefully that's not the case today. We originally went in the back door and we felt like we were going into somebody's house. So I was like, Roger, you sure this isn't somebody's house? Because it was this little door. So you think they make all of this? I think so. It's considered to reuse it though, right? Yeah. Oh, they have clothing upstairs. Is that where you saw it? Yeah. I'm going to pop upstairs first, I think. Yeah. Okay, so we are in Bird in Hand, Pennsylvania. This is about 20 minutes from the house. Very country. Oh, look at that arbor, honey. Wouldn't that be pretty over the patio? Mm -hmm. That is nice. All right, all of this looks very new. Roger had stopped in a while back and said that he saw racks of Mennonite and Amish dresses. Oh my gosh, oh, look at the little Mennonite dress. Oh, that is so cute. It's very sparkly. Do they have prices? Oh, guys, is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? A little apron over it. Let's see what price it is. $15. Oh, it's so cute. So these are the boys' um, Amish trousers. These seem all new. $26.95. Okay, it does seem to be a store that sells um, surplus but I think there are some vintage items we're going to take a look at also. Oh, this is beautiful. How much are they? Does that say $2? Or is that $7? I don't know. Let's take a look at some of these texts. $3. I'll take the whole rack. Look at the colors. This is all the way down, all of these. Yeah, if they're in good shape, I want them all. How many dresses do we think are here? A couple hundred. Okay, I'm not going to be able to film pulling the dresses, but I will show you which ones I pick up and why I picked them up, why I chose those. Good find, honey. All right, I always talk about sourcing what your community is known for. So when I moved to Pennsylvania, I knew that this is something that would be desirable, but that you wouldn't be able to get all around the country. So always plug into what your community has and, um, and try to find that out. This is a lovely one. 
All right, I'm going to put the camera down. All right, so this is how I'm quickly processing what I want to buy and what I'm leaving behind. I look at each piece for the color, if it has stains, what size it appears to be. Now that is totally judging because, like I said, these are all handmade and there are no tags. So when I look at it, I pull it out and see if there's any stains. Now if there are a few light stains, I buy them anyway at $2 a piece because much of the community that dresses this way, these people are using the clothing for work dresses. Like they're going to be in the kitchen, they're going to put an apron over it anyway. And I have been able to sell these dresses, depending on the quality of the workmanship, for over $30. Now, not all of these are going to go for over $30. So that's how I judge it by the material that it's made of. Most of these are going to be a cotton or a cotton blend. Here are a few I am not taking. So far, this is what I'm taking I'll give you my thought process so I pull one off the rack I take a look at the bodice part of it in the front for any major staining give it a flip in the back and then I always check the price tag because the tag sometimes will surprise you of the price this one doesn't even seem to have a tag am I looking right at it so I'm gonna have to ask the girl downstairs but that one we're gonna take most times you see a lot of green, blue, and shades of burgundy or purple. So this one is $2. We look at the front, it does have a little bit of a detail, which is nice. Even if they have small pulls, sometimes that's okay. Like this one, you can see that it has a small pull in the material, but I don't think that's a deal breaker. And I will just disclose it in the listing. It has a pocket, which is very nice. Most of these, I'm going to say, are a medium to a large. I like when they're sewn in the plus sizes. Another burgundy one. These are all lightweight. That's a nice um, size one. And the last one on this rack is kind of like a knit. Wider sleeve, $2. I don't see any big stains. Out of this first rack, we're going to take these 23 and we're leaving one, two, three, four, five, six of them behind, mostly for staining. Um, like, see, this one down here has some stains. Doesn't look like that will come out. Stains and pulls. It's a shame because this is really pretty. But we're going to go ahead and leave these. Now I'm going to go to the second rack and do the same thing. And then when I'm done with that rack, I will put all of what I'm taking on one rack and everything I'm not taking on the other rack. Basically, I went through the four racks here and the one rack here, taking 66 dresses. The few I left behind are the ones that have quite a bit of staining or they're fancier. I'm not sure what kind of occasion this is worn on. I really don't know much about the culture of, you know, their style of dress, what dress is worn for what occasion, or how they look for different colors. Here are the all black ones. These have a tendency to be a little bit higher priced. Okay, here's one $4. I will look at that one. But some of them are like $12, $8, and I don't want to pay that per piece. Because some of these you're going to sit on for a while. But putting them on eBay, there are many... Amish and Mennonite communities across the United States. So, um, yeah, I do very well with these type of dresses. I've sold thousands of them, so I'm just saying that. So it's great to find one store that has them at a great price point. These over here, beautiful colors, a little bit smaller, like a junior size. And a lot of these types of dresses will have cooking grease stains. I'm just saying. I think, like, girls wear these for or women ladies wear these for you know their everyday chores and a lot of that might include food preparation so you really have to go over them now if there are a few small oil or grease stains i go ahead and pick them up i don't pre-treat them i just disclose it in the listing and they sell through anyway but they will bring a smaller price point all right i'm just going to look through the black last minute i think i went through the majority of these i might have missed one or two and so far i have the 66 dresses we'll see what the bill comes to but definitely a great find all right, while the cashier adds up the total, takes all the dresses off the hangers and packs them down, we're going to look in this part of the store. So I believe all of this is pre-owned. It's another magnolia. That is quite lovely. I think that says $5 or maybe that says $15. 
Not quite sure. Okay, so some of this stuff is new and some of it seems pre-owned. This china cabinet, oh, unfortunately it's got a big crack in the glass. That is lovely, $60. I don't think it would be that hard to replace the glass. Little trestle tables. So most of the items are contemporary. Flannel diapers, $35. I didn't even know they made diapers out of flannel. That is crazy. A twin size bunk bed, $80. So I guess this must be like surplus and pre-owned. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the one you were going to sit in last time? And I was like, no, don't sit in the chair. You might fall. Is it comfy? It is very comfy. It is? Do you want that for our patio? <laughs> Never get you out of it. It's nice. I love how you're holding on for dear life. You realize if that chain breaks, you're going down. <laughs> oh, no. Do you want me to hold it while you get yeah, out? Maybe. <laughs> Oh, because it has a spring. Yeah. That's probably what makes it so comfortable. 248. Kind of cool. Love is spoken here. Four dollars. That's kind of nice. Little basket of artwork. All right, let's look at the tchotchka. Every store has a tchotchka aisle that we search out. To find any vintage, what did you wind up buying? Um, some clothes, couple, yeah, a Nike shirt, an Eagle shirt, okay, sweatpants. And what were the price All points on those? Prices, like two dollars, one dollar, okay, three dollars. Oh, that's good. Welcome, five dollars. Most of their prices are pretty good, very fun way to shop. And now music. <laughs> it's another one of those pictures, a little bit different. I guess it is $5. Bring the good. I'm not even quite sure what that means. Bring the good. Oh, a fun spool. Is it a belt? Is it a necklace? I'm not quite sure what it is. That would be very fun as a belt. I'm not sure who would want to wear that. All right, so some of this definitely is like closeouts, smokers, pool equipment. Look at that big float, floating island. Oh, the dreaded clear glass aisle. Every store has one. <laughs> Can't get away from the clear glass, especially in Pennsylvania. Here's green. I don't see green that often. With like a grapes design, $20. Huh. So they have the pouring cups and then they have the regular cups. False graph in every store. Is this L.E. Smith? Look at me knowing my glass. I think that's who that is. I always talk about the time I picked up a very huge amount of green glass by L.E. Smith and it did quite well. I was pretty happy with that. Wasn't my favorite to ship though, that's for sure. It's a milk glass pitcher and cups. That is sweet and I'm not even a big milk white. Um, I'm not anchor hawking, does that say? Anchor glass. I'm not even a big fan of milk glass, but very country. It is pretty. Oh, ruffle bowl, $12. So is this Fenton? Uh, I think it is. It's the Fenton oval mark on the bottom. I guess I should look that up. $12. Okay, moving to this side. I think all clear glass should have stickers that say, uh, this is worth this much on eBay. <laughs> Would make my life a lot easier. This is quite pretty. I've never seen this before. It's like a tulip design. This is all hand painted. 
It is painted. I would imagine this was from the manufacturer because it's so evenly done. That might also be like a decal on there, a transfer wear. I'm just saying words now. <laughs> it's a big brandy snifter, $75 with little cups. That's handcrafted. In this store, I don't mind that they've set up vignettes. It does make it quite a pleasant experience to shop. Mr. and Mrs. $2. That's kind of sweet. I'm not really one for wall words or signs with words. I probably have a few. Can't even think of it. Yeah. I think I have one sign that says, I love us. <laughs> There's a swan down there. A duck. Oh, who's making this turquoise? It almost seems like glass that's been painted. Yes. That was a hobbyist piece. All right, more and more of the stores by us have this type of linen section. And again, I think they're closeouts. Even Goodwill is carrying um, new linens in these type of grab and carry bags. This is Foundry, the creative capital. Oh, it's like a little uh, cooler. Some rugs. A few toys and crafts. All right. Massage chair. Oh, 150. You gonna try it? You don't. With LED lighting. <laughs> Do we like That's LED lighting? Difference. What's that, the freezer? I don't think that chest freezers are all that expensive, no. are they? Seems like a good price, huh? Really? Do you think we need it for all the grocery shopping <laughs> we do? All our frozen pizzas? You know you want to try that chair. <laughs> All right, in, guys. I would try it. Yeah, I'm sure you would. I still think it's probably plugged in because people would want to try it. Wouldn't they put it right by a plug? I'm looking for the cord. Oh, look at this. Hair bonnet on wheels. Yeah, I don't see the plug. Well, I guess you could just press the button on this, right, to see if it... I don't see any outlets around. I would think if they put both the freezer and this here that there would be an outlet. No, huh? Yeah. I don't know oh, what right I'm there. talking about. Oh, right there. Oh, now we're trying it. <laughs> it's attached, I think, right? I would think it would be. Here we go. We got it going on now. What I don't understand is there's two remotes. Is it working? I'm sorry. What company makes it? Does the remote have a brand on it? We bring that home, we'd be fighting over it. We need two. We need a pink one and a black one. <laughs> the lights came on underneath. Oh, you look like a racing massage chair person. Oh, let me move this out of your way. You're moving the bonnet hair dryer. Oh, look at you. Okay, so we are just running comps on this bowl. I believe this is a hobnail milk glass Fenton ruffle bowl. All those words. This one thirty-one forty-eight, but a best offer was accepted. Then I saw one further up. Where did I see this? And I got a little excited because sixty-seven fifteen, and they want twelve dollars. So I thought, oh, that's good. And then Roger picked it up and had to say, <laughs> oh, it's cracked. It's got chip, chip here. A big break. 
but always interesting to learn about different brands. So a little bit under 70 dresses. The people were such sweethearts in this store. Really helpful and just so gracious. A uh, little under 70 dresses for $190. And here in Pennsylvania, we have no clothing tax. So that is a great thing. Lots of work ahead of me. And um, yeah, these should do quite well. The average buy-in price was 2 to $3. What I will do is count the total number of pieces and then just divide it by the total that way or take the total and divide it by the number of pieces that way I know what I paid per piece I will not inventory each one separately but I will attach an inventory number to them to keep track of which one is which because they all look alike all right all these dresses are going to need to be measured because these items are handmade and don't have any tags so I will be guessing at the material content in the listing I'll write something like polyester blend cotton blend with a question mark I think the people that buy these dresses across the country understand that you can only take a guess at what the fabric content is so I have done really well I'm gonna say probably close to a thousand of these sold over the years and not one return love that so today we have 68 Mennonite dresses that I picked up yesterday I paid about two dollars and eighty cents per dress. I brought them home and I've been in the process of washing them. So these are all cleaned. The last load is in my washing machine. Here are a few more here. And like I said, I paid $2.80 per dress. And when I list them and sell them in my eBay store, Lavender Clothesline, they will most likely bring $1,350. So my best tip of the day, learn what is special or locally made in your area and flip those items on eBay for profit. All right, so that is the buy. Where are we going next? <laughs> Let's get in the car and see what else we can find. I am pretty excited. Look where we are. Mother Tucker's Antiques and Collectibles. So I brought you guys here. Oh, it's got to be over six months ago. And we had a great time here. So if you don't know about Mother Tucker's, they are on Instagram. And I think they also sell live on Instagram. Don't quote me on that. Here's the number. You can call them and ask them. <laughs> Let's go inside and see what we can find. We are just in the door. This booth is running a 30% off sale unless marked firm. So you look for the vendor's initials right here. If you're new to this kind of shopping, we always find good stuff here. Always. Oh, look how cute this is. I'm not even in the door. The door is right to the back of me. This is so sweet. Oh, look at that little bunny swinging on a swing. Oh my word. That is so vintagey cute. I'm gonna put my glasses on so I can read all of this correctly. Wouldn't that be a good idea? So I'd say $2.50. Oh. Okay, I'm putting on glasses because I need to read the prices. That can't be right. It is, it's $2.50. That is so sweet. Little petal might be missing there, but we're not gonna worry about that. Oh, Dollar Tree, that's why. Oh, I still like it though. All right, because it's Dollar Tree, I'm going to have to uh, leave it behind, but... Oh, that is so cute. All right, let's find something that's vintage. That's true. I mean, Dollar Tree could be vintage, I think. Dollar Tree's been around longer than 20 years. Hasn't it been, guys? I don't even know. A oh, piece of pottery back here. Oh, two pieces. There's a little piece of redware that's adorable. Five dollars. Redware vase. I do like that one. It has a marking. Mm, I don't know, even with glasses on, BR, maybe. I do like that one. Okay, is this booth? This booth is 20% off unless marked firm. That does not say firm. Okay, so this one's not Dollar Tree. <laughs> this was the piece I was originally looking at. Can I just own all the pottery in the whole wide world? Six dollars. Look at that. Is that not gorgeous? Okay, if there's no chips or cracks, I'm getting that one too. Beautiful. Let me just run my hand around it. Yeah, I think it's good. All right, we're going to put both of these pieces up at the counter. We can be in this store for hours. I'm going to give you the scan. You gotta love this store. This store is really, really good. You know, sometimes you go into an antique store and they've got a lot of newer stuff and this stuff is not really up to par. Not this store. This store 
has gorgeous stuff. Look at the Venetian Murano art class fish. Oh, I love him. $88. If I was a collector, I would buy that. That is just beautiful. Oh, there's another little satin glass fish I've never seen before. $18. I don't even know where Roger is. He just took off. <laughs> He's on it. All right, so these are the cases up front. And although I love to look in the cases and they are having sales, up oh, 50% off, um, I'm not going to have enough time today. So we're just going to peruse a little bit in each booth so I can give you an overview of the store. Okay, we have a bird plate. Oh, is this an ashtray? Quail, quail disc, stangle, $15. To me, it almost looks like an ashtray. I would be ashamed to put cigarettes out on the bird, but $15 minus 20%. Wait, is it marked 50% off? How could that even be? Wait a second. Is that correct? Let's pull it out. Let's see what the back says. Stangle, pottery, quail, made in USA. Guys, isn't that an ashtray? Huh. I should run comps on it, but my mind is saying, okay, for seven fifty, unless I'm being silly about this, how could you not get this? All right, that is lovely, but I am going to run a comp. I'm not going to just start buying everything. I love him, though. He is great. Let's put him back safely. I'll be back. Okay, I checked comps for the quail, and they are going for about $15, so that is a fair price. And even at half price, I don't know that it would warrant me picking it up, but I think that is gorgeous. All right, let's scout around. Let's just peruse in and out of the booths and see what's going on. Look how packed these booths are. Oh, my word, 50% off. You. Guys, you really want to stop here and shop. Here's a piece of pottery down here. Now, we're not doing all pottery today, I promise. Okay, who is this? I'm not sure the signature on that one. Lovely, like, pie crust edge. $38, Jeff White. All right. Just giving you the overview. Oh, look at the pig. Break my heart. <laughs> his ear is broken. I would have taken him. Oh, he's heavy. <gasps> I absolutely love him. I think I would buy him for me. If his ear wasn't broken, I'm sorry, little pig. I have to leave you behind. Isn't there something about a sow's ear? <laughs> I'm not even sure what that means, a sow's ear. I can't remember. Here's some redwood pottery that I've been talking about. That's Fultz. I think it's Ted or Ned Fultz. I never remember that. Beautiful. Um, that is local to the area. Twenty percent off in this booth. Okay, only have about fifteen minutes to shop today because the schedule is tight. This is lovely, $48. I love that pattern. That is beautiful. For those of you talking about taking a trip to Lancaster, Pennsylvania, you know, I would love to put together a list of places to go that are good to shop in. This would be high on the list. So although I bring you lots of places, I don't know, I should name my top 10. That would be a good thing to do because I know many of you travel to Pennsylvania because you've seen places in my videos and that's amazing. Families have come from Texas, um, Ohio, of course, which is our neighboring state. Just looking at the artwork, this is all capturing my attention. And um, yeah, maybe I could do that one day, create my top 10 list. Leave a comment down below if you want me to list my top 10 places to thrift and shop. This booth caught my attention. Can you tell why? <laughs> 
a vintage cypress knees lamp. I love this. This is a much different one than I've seen. And I would like it with a different shade. I don't think that shade does it justice. Cypress knees grows in the swamps. It's actually the roots of the trees uh, come up above the water, I think, for oxygen. That's all the gas. $59. Now, a lot of times these knobs or whatever this is called, the bumps, are more plentiful. So this one's a little bit plainer, but look how beautiful that is. But again, I don't think the pleated shade is doing it justice. $59 plus 20% off is just a phenomenal price. Okay, I see a bird down here, a vintage MC peacock dish. <laughs> this is cute. I curse you, early morning. <laughs> I've never seen that one before. Peanuts movie made by Hallmark. I'm always proclaiming that glass is not my favorite, but I have to say, when I see beautiful colored glass, nothing compares to it. Look how gorgeous this is. This is a swung vase. I think it's called handkerchief. Let's see if the tag will tell us anything. Vintage Viking glass, green footed swung handkerchief compote dish, $40. Isn't that beautiful? That is stunning. Picture candy in that. Ugh. So pretty. We have our lucite grapes. Are they lucite? Yes, they are. Bunches of lucite grapes, $35. 50% off unless marked firm in this booth. Taking a quick look around. There's some insulators. I've had these before. $24. Is this a wooden egg? It is. Oh, it's a kaleidoscope. Oh, that's very fun. I'm not going to be able to show you. I was going to try to put the camera, the camera lens in there, but it's not going to work. $40. Beautiful. Oh, this looks like, um, this reminds me of Francoma pottery. So this would be $8. That is quite stunning. What does the bottom look like? It doesn't look like a practice signature. I know that probably makes no sense, but when a signature looks very well done, like it's, you know, the person's really got a flow, it makes me feel like they've signed a lot of pottery. This one is a little more rough, like somebody just scratched their initials in it, but I do like this glaze. And I like this, I don't know, this pattern. $16, I think I'm gonna get this. No, it's not Francoma pottery. I think it's Francoma that I'm thinking of. I don't remember. That is beautiful. And recently I was talking about Raku pottery, where when the piece is very hot in the kiln, it's taken out and it's put into um, a vessel of like ashes or um, newspaper sawdust, I think. And it causes a glaze. It causes like an iridescent glaze. And that's what this is reminding me of. We're going to go ahead and take that. As long as this one's on sale. It doesn't say firm, so we should be good. I don't know if any of this is worth anything to speak of, but look how fun this is. Look at the colors. It's all so whimsical and bright. Look at the expressions. <laughs> this little girl is tired over here. These are adorable. Look at the dog's face. <laughs> all the expressions. Very fun. I wonder if they all come to life at night. All right, next. Oh, the swung vases. Again, the colored glass. Beautiful amberina. This is amberina here. So pretty. Swung vase, 160. Aren't they gorgeous? Especially if you have big windows in your house and the sunlight comes through. It's just like you have jewels in your life. Beautiful, beautiful. Very fun, all of this vintage stuff from years gone by. Again, I think this is Ellie Smith here. And I think amber is the most common. Don't quote me on that. You know me, I'm just, I'm just saying things that are in my brain. Sooner or later I'll be right, that's the way I look at it. Oh, we have a tiki mug here. I love a good tiki mug. Let's see if I can get this without wrecking the place. Please don't fall down. $15. What does it say? Orchids? Orchids? Orchids of Hawaii. 
Japan, $15. Okay, they're having a 40% off sale. I don't know what a tiki tumbler would go for because I haven't sold one in a while. This looks to be in good shape. Okay, so $15, 10% 10 would be $1.50. So $1.50 times four is $6. Yep, I have to do it that way. Okay, so that would equal $9. That's not bad. I'm gonna go ahead and take this. I think that's that's an okay find. Once again, this is Mother Tucker's Antiques and Collectibles in, I believe it's Ephrata. Hit that like and subscribe button, and as always, go out and get what's yours.